bat cave! Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. Mm. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Well, I'm starting to wonder. Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. <laughs> it wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Hmm. Oh, man. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Kill! The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... Messy. They were out of control. Hmm. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but dragging others to fight them for you? Oh. As far as I know, Montoya is still an isolated case. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. All right, let's go find an old friend. That's all I get. Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Better do that again. Going to huh? speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. It's time Batman beat his ass. It's what we do. We deliver bat ass kickings. Falcone finds out I helped you. He'll kill me. Oh, 
us won't be doing much of anything ever again. Hmm. You just went through the door. Expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Mm. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Eh. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As <laughs> a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Hmm. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Hmm. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. Oh, no. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. The nuts! In the nuts! Ow. The tree's got nuts! down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. A big fan. <laughs> no capes. Dick, dick. A new twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, a jealous sort. 
Hmm. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here. The cops raided his house. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. You know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Oh, no. Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> It ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's hmm. just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Frank's being a dick. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were hmm. supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. <laughs> he goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. Oh, it's kind of my thing. The penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly, you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Mm. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So hmm. what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good bad. reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. Whatever Penguin is planning, innocent people will end up in the line of fire. Innocence. Not me. Bruce. Sweetie. The gallant knight thing. It really is adorable. <laughs> but what would Harvey think? The two of us... Working together. After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Oh, shit. Here comes the bar fight. Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Hello. Gavna. Oh, we're gonna play some music? Don't get me banned on Twitch. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Gentlemen, please, sit. Have a drink. Let's work this out like civilized people. We're done talking. Okay. Oh, man. oh, Jesus. Oh, we're gonna stop that. Right in the face. Right in the face. There's some bad justice. Oh, we got a knife now. Oh, we got some weapons. Oh, 
that was beautiful. What am I doing? Oh, all right. No, oh, that was beautiful. Not done yet. Mutton chops. Oh, that was kind of cool. Back to back. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Jesus! Oh no. Now the one one is now two. <laughs> oh certified bat badass. <laughs> I'm in love. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. I'm just gonna rob you. Come on, this way. All right. We had our bar fight? Quick, check the alleyway! Oh shit, well. Cock blocked again. Can you see anything? Negative, let's check the other side. <laughs> Trying to have some alone time with a cat. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Oh shit. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Aww. Story of my life, Bruce. I'll take I feel the rooftops. you. Tops. You take the alley. Wait. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs> now, where's the fun in that? Mm. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Good advice. Alfred, I need to get the fuck Alfred, out of here. I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. We're processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the Ooh. last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Hmm. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? It looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. Hmm. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but... If I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. That's then true. Again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Ah, uh, we can Let's see. Batman. Or well, Bruce. You will do, Bruce. Calling us Bruce is the smart choice.
Hmm. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate. What prep. the fuck is wrong he with her really head? Can't be disturbed right now. I was really hoping you'd be Half able to help me out. her head is missing. Who knows? Maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. Uh. Well. Bruce Wayne. Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well. Straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone mm. too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only hmm. the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, then Oswald has a right to be angry. Is there any proof? Your father and I hid our tracks quite well. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. Mm. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. No. Nope. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. Hmm. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. Oh. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Hmm. Get him out of here. You know Harvey is going to embarrass you out there. Dent's campaign is on his last legs. Tonight, it hits the canvas. It's you who's going downhill. And you're not getting back up. He said downhill. Put your gun away. Jesus, these guys are... Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. 